are making us. Well, the division I'd like to see is it expands not just to it. Last year's cyber attack is estimated to have cost Sony hundreds of millions of dollars in damage. It was a state sanctioned attack that has many Americans asking, if that is what North Korea can do to a movie company, how vulnerable is our critical infrastructure? How, how vulnerable is our electric grid? You know, what if electricity was cut off? I mean, that obviously could be a dark uh, chapter. I appreciate you mentioning Committee that. here in Thank you. Congress. Um, we just passed a bill. Earlier this month, the administration announced long overdue sanctions targeting officials and front companies of the North Korean government. And I'm glad the administration has described this as just the first aspect of its response because many of those North Koreans black, blacklisted, many of those individuals who were blacklisted had already been targeted by U.S. sanctions. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh we need to step up and target those financial institutions in Asia and beyond that are supporting the brutal and dangerous North Korean regime. Such sanctions have crippled North Korea in the past. Three main countries. You got Syria. Our response to the attack on Sony is consistent with our policy on the DPRK across the board, one which seeks to work with our allies and partners to increase the cost to North Korea of its irresponsible behavior, to sharpen the regime's choices, and to persuade the DPRK peacefully to abandon its nuclear weapons program, respect the human rights of its people, and abide by international norms and obligations. Obviously, North Korea is worthy of sanctions. The executive order signed by the president on January 2nd is an important new tool. It responds to the attack on Sony Pictures, but also provides a framework for addressing the full range of DPRK illicit behavior. The cyber attack on South Korean financial system. And do we believe that was? Mr. Chairman, standing up to North Korea requires a sustained and concerted effort by all of the countries in the Six Party process, and indeed by the entire international community. Together we will, to borrow your words again, change the equilibrium in North Korea and persuade Pyongyang that North Korea will not achieve security or economic prosperity while pursuing nuclear weapons, trampling on international norms, and abusing its own people. Thank you, Mr. Duncan. Mr. Lowenthal is recognized. 